In today's tutorial, let's do the Sunshine Scrubby together. Really quite an easy project and it goes pretty quick too. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as YarnInspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to work on the Sunshine Scrubby where we have a scrubby and the crochet work is added to the scrubby directly and then it becomes a really quite a nice accessory. We've done something like this before. We have this one here. This is the Posy Scrubby and you can see that this has been worked right into the project front side and back side. It's completely one unit. So once the scrubby runs out then I guess the whole project then uh, could be tossed and then you can do another one really quite quick and easy. So what are you going to need to Today. So this one uh, particular pattern only consists of one color and so in the United States you will know the cotton yarn is Lily Sugar and Cream or in Canada you'll know it as Bernat Handicrafter. At the dollar store I picked up a package of these Canadian for $1.25 so it's about a dollar probably in the States for a package of six of these. I've seen a lot of these kind of examples in flea markets and etc. even as gifts or housewarming and uh, they make for a really quick and easy project and let's get started on making these now. So let's get started and here's one of the plastic scrubbies that's out of the package and you can see it's like plastic all kind of just wrapped in a certain way. So you're gonna notice that it's asking for you to do a four millimeter or size G crochet hook today. So the thing that you need to look for the most is that your hook must be able to get into these and back out. So if your hook is way too fat then what's gonna happen is that you're not gonna be able to get the hook back out very easily. So you have to be very conscientious of that because you're gonna be attaching the yarn directly to the outside of here. So in the first revolution what we need to do is get 40 single crochets to wrap all the way around. Now the other scrubby that we did we did 36 and now that I've done this one here I know I gotta be a little bit tighter with my stitches because there's 36 here and I need to get 41 here. You will notice that once you get this all wrapped around even though this was kind of awkward shape kind of like what you see here the stitches are gonna pull together and really kind of round it off really quite nicely and you can see that it is double sided just like so. So I just have to be conscientious of that. So let me get you started and show you how to be able to work with this particular project. So I'm gonna get started with a slip knot and I'm gonna insert it onto my hook. So I am gonna try a four millimeter as it suggests and what I want to do is that I wanna go to the outside perimeter only right directly down the middle. Okay, just use your best guess on the where it is and insert your hook in. If you are concerned at all that your um, hook is not working well then just clearly just change your hook to be smaller. So I just wanna insert my hook in, yarn over and pull out like so. And I think for my purposes today I am going to uh, reduce my hook for this one. I just did the other one and I think it's a little bit better. So I'm gonna go a little bit smaller. And again this is your creativity. You can decide what works for you. So just going in, just move along, just just literally just a couple more uh, spaces and then just single crochet. Now what I would recommend to you as well before you do that is that get that straggler down on the top of it so that you can get that to be right underneath the stitches so you'd never see your starting and stopping of a project. And I want you to single crochet yourself all the way around. So I'm kinda just pinching it and going from front to back and I wanna start counting. So I need to get a total of 40 of these going all the way around and uh, I'll meet you back here in just a moment where we'll have 40 completely done. By the way, you may not get 40 done all the way around the first time so you may need to pull out. So you're just gonna have to look, look for the halfway point. You should in the halfway point from here to here there should be about 20 and then the other 20 then will come in the other side. Again you'll have to use your best judgment but make sure you have 40 by the time. When you get all the way back around then I actually had to attempt this twice in order to get my 40 in just so that you're aware of that. And I just wanna slip stitch to the beginning and I'm gonna change the hook now back to what it should be of a four millimeter. So this, the, the smaller hook allowed me to be able to circle a little bit faster and to get more of the, the, the mesh in there. So let's uh, begin to do round number two. So round number two we're gonna start off with chaining one and we're gonna single crochet in the same stitch that you did the join with and into the next eight as well. Okay so let's count these out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight and now the next one there's gonna be two single crochets in this one. So the repeat pattern for the remainder of this particular pattern is that there's gonna be nine stitches in a row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, tw
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And the next one will have two into the next one. So please do that same thing. So nine in a row and then two. Nine in a row and two. And get right to the end and I'll see you there in just a moment. If your counts are right, the very last stitch will have two single crochets in it and then you're just going to join it to the beginning single crochet that you had started with. And let's move on to the next in the next round. Before we move on, I actually just thought there was one color to this pattern because I was looking at the photo. I didn't realize there is actually two. So I'm gonna fasten off and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I just cut it about 12 inches long and I'm gonna pull through the loop. And what I want to do then is just weave this strand in and out some of the stitches because you're gonna trap it underneath in the next round. You can also use a darning needle in order to go underneath. And let me show you the darning needle technique just so that you're aware of it. And I won't show you this at the end. So this is the same thing I'm gonna do at the end as well. So just insert it into your needle. Okay. So just go up underneath the stitches. Okay, so don't go on anything on top. Just stay within the same color. And go back and forth three times. And when you do that three times, it will trap this in position permanently and it will never fall out. And because you are scrubbing dishes with this, you don't want these falling out anyway because it just looks like sin. So let's um, just do that and let's change our color to something different and let's move along for round number three. In round number three, we are going to be making the sunshine uh, uh, rays of sunshine off the sun. So what we're going to do is that we're gonna chain nine out and then we're gonna work along back the chain do two half double crochets in a row and then four double crochets and then one treble right at the end to bring us back to the center of, of the scrubby. And then we're gonna skip over some stitches and then begin again. So the sun, rays of sunshine are made up of these lying on their sides going all the way around. Let's show you how to do that next. So let's take our new yarn and we are just gonna slide it onto the hook. Go into any one of the single crochets that are all the way around. It doesn't matter which one you go into. And I want you to join it. So just pull through and chain one and single crochet into the same one. So let's do that chaining of nine that I just showed you. So we're gonna do chaining of nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. So count three back. So one, two and three. Turn it over and get the back loop only and I want you to half double crochet that one. And then I want you to half double crochet the next. And then the next four are, are double crochets. So one and two, three, and four. And the final one that you're left with, okay, this is the final one is going to be a treble. So wrap the hook twice. So now what? We have to go back to the instructions and see what to do next. So now we're gonna come back to the darker area here and I wanna skip three. So one, two, and three. Go to the fourth in single crochet and we're gonna begin the sunshine once again. So single crochet and do that. So let's do that again. So one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Three back. So one, two, three is a half double crochet. Okay. And then the next one is a half double crochet. So there's two in a row. And now there's gonna be four double crochets in a row. So one, two, three and four and there's gonna be one treble right at the end. So wrap the hook twice and the last chain is gonna be a treble. Don't forget we're gonna come back to the center. So one, two, three skip and go single crochet fourth over. Please do that same thing going all the way around and you're completing the sunshine rays this time around. So as you get all the way back around you're just going to join the last one in with the first single crochet and you will have a total of 11 of these uh, going all the way around. Let's move along to round number four. 
Before you begin round number four you need to fasten off this string and just like I showed you before with weaving in the ends and using a darning needle I would strongly recommend that and just be able to do that and then we'll move on to number four together. Let's begin our next round. So round number four is the final. I'm gonna switch. It doesn't say to do a different color but I'm going to anyway. And what we're going to do is that we're going to do exactly what you just did now but we're going to focus back in and I want you to fold them forward. So you will notice that there is three empties in the middle and you're gonna play in the middle one of the three that are empty. So just pull it backward like this okay or sorry pull it forward and insert your hook in and you're going to do exactly what you just did. Okay, so you're gonna join it. Okay, so uh, chain one, single crochet in. And what you want to do is just do exactly what these were. So you're gonna chain nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So now we're gonna come back down through the chain. So the third one, remember, is a half double crochet. Okay, the next one is um, a half double crochet. And then the next four are double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. And you have one more chain left and that's gonna be a treble. So wrap twice, last one is a treble. And you are just gonna immediately come to the next one. So just you wanna jump over and go to the empty middle one of the next one. Okay and single crochet in again and chain your nine and begin and these petals then will sit right in the direct center just like this. So you can either do the same color or do it a different. It's completely up to you. It is your creativity. So do that all the way around. So I'm coming up all the way back around and I'm just going to join it to the first single crochet and then I'm just gonna use my fastening off skills. That's it for this particular pattern. Um, all you just need to do is just kind of shape the petals a little bit. Uh, use your darning needle, hide in your, your uh, loose end here and you just have to fold everything back out and it's kind of neat seeing it as a contrast in color like that. You can have a lot of fun with it. You can see that the, the sponge is not or the scrubby is not going anywhere. It's part of the work and it's really quite a neat idea. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. Hopefully you enjoy your sunshine scrubby. To get it done we'd love to see your creativity on Facebook whether it's Yarnspirations or the Crochet Crowd.com. Have a great day and we'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.